Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco. In this video we will have a look at Celion Bello handgun ammunition. Uh, in this case, 9mm Makaro. Uh, currently, for whatever reason, is a bit uh, a shortage of uh, 9mm Makaro ammunition in USA. So, Celion Bello, uh, they of course made such ammunition for the military over there and police use uh, for decades since that came uh, was new, invented uh, in the 50s and uh, this is of course a civilian uh, ammunition so we see that uh, that it is not sealed as an example also it doesn't have any uh, steel case so and the, the packaging is really really nice how it should be the, the minimum of a size a sturdy a sturdy uh, nice box uh, easy to to uh, open without damaging and then as we open the thing up we have two polymer trays and we see no space at all is uh, wasted in the in the storage in the space uh, for storage really compact together absolute nice and uh, we see uh, it has a bit of shelf on the bottom so uh, in case you set it down uh, where it's wet it would not touch it either so really nice exactly how I love it uh, like this that makes a uh, storage say in ammunition cans really compact really easy to do as we look at the ammunition the quality is really nice we have here a brass case uh, because that is for the US market mainly so steel case is gone we have a nice typical full metal jacket uh, bullet in 9mm Makarov and uh, we also see on the on the part on the case end here the Celion pellet on top 9mm Makarov and uh, I think that is a, a zip or something. I don't know exactly what, what that uh, uh, symbol is here on the side, but uh, I think similar they used on the military ammunition too. Anyway, what is uh, missing is the sealing of the primer and the bullet. That is how it is. It's civilian ammunition, so there is no sealing, but you can always uh, seal it yourself. I just grab randomly a couple uh, out and show it on the camera. Uh, I see no defect or anything uh, negative at all. Now, Celian Pellot uh, is on the market for many, many years. And uh, as I started back then in uh, the late... Uh, or, or the mid mid uh, 80s as I was stuck in Switzerland uh, there uh, after a while Celian Bellot uh, got imported too uh, mainly back then the 9mm Luger or Parabellum as we call it back then uh, the 9mm uh, by 19 ammunition uh, they were sold relative cheap and uh, for whatever reason, uh, back then we had quite some problems with uh, Celion Pellot, at least for the first uh, part. They used a Berdan uh, primer and uh, not a boxer primer like, like our days. And uh, they had sometimes uh, uh, cases, 9mm cases, uh, they, that did not have a hole. So the primer would, would uh, ignite, but it could not uh, flash over to the powder. So you had a dead round. Uh, some of the cases that we had had up to three holes. Uh, usually you don't have that many. But uh, anyways, that is long, long time ago. And that is how we started with Celian Bellot. And they got only better and better and better. And I would say uh, by now, I mean already for a... For, uh, Many, I would say, over 20 years, they have a really, really good quality and uh, still a good price too. They improved. Uh, that all did work out. We never ever had any problems anymore. So that is a great uh, ammunition ready to go. And uh, that's 
part of the reason why I wanted to make the, the video here. And uh, they also, of course, uh, make caliber, many different calibers, and uh, one of them is like this one here, 9mm Makarov for the Eastern Block uh, surplus or military police handguns. So that's that's a good way to go if you don't want to have a, a steel case, if you don't want to have a Korosofish. Uh, Corrosive uh, primer, if I can say that correct. Corrosive, may it was a, a long day already, but uh, you see what I'm talking about. So uh, it's friendly for uh, cleaning and all that. You don't not gonna have to worry that uh, the the thing gonna rust on you really really hard. So uh, that would be the way to go. That's why I got that ammunition myself. So that much about the Celium Bello 9mm Makarov.